Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make your very own modern house. And not only will I be showing you the outside of the house, but later on, I'll be giving you a peek at the inside of the house. But that's at the end of the video. Here are all of the materials that you will need to make this house. Please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. And now that we have all of our stuff, we can get started. So the first thing that we are going to do is begin by placing eight grey concrete on top of each other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I then want you to extend that eighth block to the right by three. One, two, three. Extend that third block all the way down to the ground, like this. And then take that block that hit the ground and place a block behind it. Place an oak plank to the right of it and extend upwards by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Extend to the right by two. One, two, and then go all the way down. Just like that. You can even join it together at the bottom. And then we want to take all of these oak wood planks, and I do mean all of them, and we want to extend them backwards by eight rows. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we are going to build up all of these rows so that every single one of these oak planks gets extended back just like this. We also want to copy the shape that we have on the front, so you're just going to want to take the back row of oak planks and apply the same shape that we did to it on the front. What we then want to do is we want to place a row of grey concrete to the right of our oak planks. We want to extend the grey concrete upwards a row, outwards a row, extending backwards, we want to take the top and extend it to the right by one, two, three. If you like, you can even join it to the very front of the build, just like this. There we go. You can then extend the back corner down here as well. Just like so. And then you can take the grey concrete block that we just joined and extended down to the ground. You can extend it inwards by two. One, two. Then place an oak wood plank right of the second block that we just extended inwards and extend that oak plank to the right by five. One, two, three, four, five. We want to extend that block forwards by one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we want to extend this block inwards as it would join back to the build, basically where it would join to a row of grey concrete if it existed, which it now does because I just placed it. So we want to have something which should look like this. Okay, so it may be easiest if we fill in the grey concrete area on the left side of the build like this. Just fill it in top to bottom, left to right, front to back, however you want to do it, we just want to have it all filled in. And I think that that will make placing this next part a little bit easier. So, um, we want to take this box that we have created and we want to essentially raise up each one of the four corners of the box by two. So, one, two, uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, and we want to join all of those corners together at the top, just like this. We want to add a layer of oak planks around the inside of the top of this, so we kind of want to shrink the shape of the box a tad, just like this. We then want to place a layer of oak planks that is one row above and outside the row that we just made. This will emulate the shape that we have just down below, just like that. And what we then want to do is raise up the corners once more, each by two. So like one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. And you can join them all together as well, just at the tops, just like this. So it gives you a pretty cool effect. Now, with this cool effect, and we have to do this 
elsewhere. Um, you just want to fill in all of the areas which would be windows. I mean, on the sides, these left sides, I'd, I'd, I'd actually just recommend filling them in with oak planks. But the front and the back of the build, I, I would recommend being windows, definitely, because it will let in a nice lot of natural light. But we have to have a method of getting up and down the build, so I'd just leave that filled in with oak planks. So we want to fill that in. Uh, we want to fill in all of the oak areas, as a matter of fact, all of it can be filled in using uh, blue stained glass pane. If you like, you can even add oak slabs to the top of the right and left sides of the building like this. You can add some oak slabs and you can choose to either fill in or you can then add some glass at the top to give you this effect. Completely optional. We're going to do the same thing here too, so we're going to add some oak slabs just like this around the top of this area, um, join it together, and and then we've got we've got the choice of um, whether or not because you will be able to move uh, move around. Um, you can fill this in with glass, or you can leave it, or you can just fill it in using the oak slabs. You'll kind of make that decision a little bit later on, and we just want to fill this in, of course, using some blue stain glass pane. Well. We also want to, on this left side, use some quartz slabs, and th it basically works out to be this. Quartz slabs want to go above and below each window, like this. Just half a row, just like above and below. And those quartz slabs want to extend all the way around each particular part of the building, so just here, and here, and it adds another colour element to the build, which is very, very good. One of my favourite modern house colour combinations is grey, white and oak, and of course the blue glass as well. Absolutely, probably, certainly my favourite modern house colour combination. And it just adds, again, that, that element of modernness that you don't, which you do have, but it just adds, it amplifies it a little bit. We want to place oak leaves around the right side of the build to kind of smooth things off a little bit. On the back of the build, we can do this. So on the back of the build, we can place glass pane at the top, grey concrete underneath, with two rows of glass pane underneath the grey concrete. Fill underneath this in using grey concrete all the way down to the ground. And whilst we are dealing with this part of the build, you can of course fill the top in with glass as well. Depends how much natural light you want. You don't have to fill all these areas in with glass. Uh, on the front of the build, we want the same window pattern, so glass at the top, grey concrete, two layers of glass, then a single layer of grey concrete, and then that will actually leave you space for a door, depending what you want to, um, where you want to place the door. So I figure you've got two options, you can place the door upright, forwards, perfect, or you can sink it a block back. Just like that. I quite like the sunken look because it uh, it just adds to a little bit of the depth of the house. I think it looks better. Um, what do we then have to do? Well, we have to completely renovate the inside. We have to make it nice and livable. We have to add a little bit of charm and survivalness to it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do now, ladies and gentlemen. So we have completed the structure of the house, 100% fully completed. There's nothing left for us to do. What I'm now going to show you is what the house will look like if you decorate it a little bit, which you may or may not want to do yourselves, but it will give you an idea of what we've just built. So this is what your house will look like once it has been 100% fully completed. As you can see, the outside is a nice, sleek, modern design, whatever the word sleek means. And on the inside, I have decorated it for you. So if we take a little bit of a look, I'm quite happy with the layout of the build. The entrance area, we have a little bit of a brewing station. We have a huge smelting area. We have storage on the walls and surrounding us and a huge amount underneath the brewing area. Uh, we have a lot of light, natural and otherwise. We have separated the rooms. The first room that we encounter after the lobby area, we have a mass crafting area full of implements that we would absolutely need to craft anything that we want. But one of the cooler parts of this house is the fact that we can come upstairs here and we have a nice little bedroom with armor in the corner. We have a bit of an enchanting area. It kind of has everything that you would need to survive. In my Modern form. And that's it. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please do remember to hit that like button as it helps me in the channel out very, very much. 
If you're new around here, please consider subscribing and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that all my videos sent directly to your sub box. And if you do want to make anything else by me, check out the card system description below in the top of the comment section for more. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.